Alright, this is my advanced uh, strategies tutorial for anti-chamber 80%. Uh, I'm going to cover leapfrog skip. Uh, I'm going to cover the second hub storage. Um, the alternative towering method. And I'm also going to cover the third potential hub storage. So let's get right into it. First of all is leapfrog skip. So, uh, the normal way to do this puzzle is just leapfrog the cubes, obviously. Chuck it under the door, etc. What leapfrog skip does is it's, um, you hop into the middle of these lasers. You gotta hold A and shoot a cube under the door when it, once it comes down. So, uh, notice once you get into the lasers, the door goes up. Once you get out, the door goes down. If you get up and quickly go down, the door keeps some of its upward momentum. Which is um, what we need to get the cube under the door, so um, if we hop into the middle, hop out, um, before it reaches the top, then it'll keep its momentum up, so it won't come down as fast, so we will have time to strafe and shoot a cube under the door. That's how this works. So that's um, you, what your movements should be, you should. Um, that's an example of me staying in too long. Keep in mind this is a very difficult trick. It does save three seconds though, so if you're going for a really good time, you should use this. That's what it looks like. So you hop into the middle, you hop out, the door keeps its momentum upward, you have enough time to shoot a cube under once it comes down. And you can walk under this door. Uh, this is the lowest you can shoot a cube. You can shoot a cube one higher, and that's the highest you can shoot it. And you have to just hop under the door, pick it up, and complete the puzzle normally. Uh, you would be looking at the door, obviously. The map, obviously. Anyway, uh, the next trick I'm going to show you is the second hub storage. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up all these cubes like you did for the you know, straight. You're going to go to this door. And what this does is this trick is a checkpoint. This checkpoint, if you quit out and go um, back to the hub, this checkpoint starts all the way at the top of the stairs. So what we can do is we can do another hub storage with these cubes, map to the stairs, and we'll have cubes which will skip the lag and save about five seconds. The problem with this is you need a lot of cubes and it's quite difficult to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to hop past this field because if you shoot cubes there they just disintegrate. So you're going to hop past this, aim at the pendulum, scroll down really hard, hit escape to do the hub storage, and just map here. You will have cubes. Now, the first thing you might notice is you don't have a lot of cubes, and that is a problem. What this means is you can't do the second tower, but there is an alternative method that requires fewer cubes, and that's what we're going to do. So, with this you just uh, go through normally, as you would in any other speedrun of the game. Instead of shooting two cubes for the green room skip, you're going to shoot one because you have a lot less cubes. All it means is it's just this is a little harder. Now I'm going to show you a new towering method. I don't know what this is called, but I like to call it broken pillaring. So what you do, you would shoot a cube up there, pretend this is up there. You are going to hold W and D into the wall. Right, and you're going to look two blocks up. Sorry, three blocks up, one, two, three, and one over. And hold W and D. Hopefully you don't move too much. And you're just gonna spam your mouse button. And you should pillar up. And as you can see, it puts space in between and requires much less cubes. What this allows us to do is this allows us to do two up storages and save five seconds. 
while still being able to pillar up to the top here. But keep in mind this is quite difficult. I don't recommend this unless you're going for a very good time. As this is very, very difficult. One thing I should note is that it's actually possible to get enough cubes into this escape that you can do the regular pillar. So if you do the second hub storage and you can get enough cubes into this to do the regular pillar. But chances are you won't, so you'll have to do this pillar. That's what it looks like. And uh, that's basically all the struts. There is another strut I can show you, but I will need more cubes. Essentially this is a third hub storage, and this would save about half a second. So what you would do is trigger the checkpoint at the sign, and instead of just letting the cubes float through the air, you'd actually do a hub storage. Which would give you cubes in your inventory, so you'd have to, you wouldn't have to turn around and grab cubes. You'd just turn around and shoot a cube, and that would save roughly half a second. So those are all the advanced strats. Thank you for watching. Good luck uh, getting good runs at this game.